How's it going guys? Today we're going to be checking out Godzilla x Kong. Both trailers. We're going to be watching both trailers today. Yes, I've watched all of the Kong movies except I think the first few ones. The ones that came out, you know, in the 20th century. Look at me guys. I was born in 2003. I don't know about all these old movies, you know, when they used to wear hats and they used to talk like, Mash, eh? But yeah, I love those movies. I really enjoyed those movies. The newest movie was very good. It was probably the weakest one out of the Godzilla and Kong franchise. Not to say it was a bad movie it was action-packed and had a lot going for it definitely just not as good as I thought it was gonna be to be honest that's just my opinion though I hope they can save it with this one although what I expect from the new Godzilla movie X Kong is another action-packed funny movie where they're not trying to create some interstellar level story they're just trying to create a great action-packed funny movie with a decent story all right let's get into it Most of human civilization. Oh, the CGI looks amazing, guys. That life could only exist on the surface of our planet. Oh my god, what is that? This looks like Transformers or something. Is this Transformers? What was that? What else were we wrong about? Okay, so that's the underworld. That's where that's like where Kong's from. Come on in. There he is. There's the big guy. More secrets than we could possibly imagine. Who's that? What? Still What? Another one of his kind? Oh boy. What is that? That's not Kong. What is that? Who could have done this? Oh, oh, there's a whole species in there. can't stop this on his own. He needs Godzilla. He won't be alone. Oh. What is that? That's a chimp. Infinity Gauntlet. And why is Godzilla pink? See, this is the new world that we're living in, guys. The people making these movies, I mean, they're just doing anything. That was insane. They just gave Kong an Infinity Gauntlet, made Godzilla pink, put a chimp with, it looked like military ammo over his thing. He looked like a general. What was that? What I do like about this trailer, though, that you don't see in a lot of other trailers, is they didn't actually spoil the movie. It feels like in a lot of new trailers nowadays, they just spoil the movie. They just say exactly what the movie's gonna be about, or you can just predict. Like, they lay out the whole movie by showing the best parts. It kind of spoils the movie. Movie. Whereas this, well, it just shows Godzilla Kong, a few of the actors that we knew from the previous movies, but it doesn't spoil anything, which is which is good. This is what you want in a movie like this. All right, there's the second trailer. Let's get into it. We saw this scene. We're gonna see what it is. For centuries, there was harmony. Transformer. The Titans were the guardians of nature. And the great apes became the protectors of humanity. Were they? Well, in this universe, obviously not in real life. She's scared something's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? We've discovered a signal. She can feel it. 
Kong, Godzilla, they can feel it too. What is it? Something is coming. Something even they're afraid of. You feel like going for a ride? I thought you'd never ask. Just try not to swallow your tongue. What? They created um, a path, a border. That's the little kid that we saw. Is that a mini car? Oh my god. That's not just a signal. That's a call for war. There's a lot of them. Oh god, that there he is. That's the guy with the military rifle. Oh no, it looks like some bones. Oh my god. What is that? Is that Godzilla? Khan can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. There he is. The last time those two met up it was almost the end of Kong. They don't have to like each other. They're destroying the pyramids? They work together. Now I have seen everything. made some minor augmentations. Oh. March 29th, when is that? A month from now? I mean, guys, they're just having fun at this point. They're just having fun. They're not even trying to hide the fact that they're having fun. Wow, 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 wow. That looks really good. I mean, the other movies had a really good story. I think particularly for me, Skull Island and Godzilla King of Monsters were the two best movies I've watched in the whole series. I don't know if that's unanimous within the community, if people agree with me, but those are definitely my two favorite movies. I think the reason why mostly is because they had a really good story and really good actors. I mean, if you look at the cast for both of those movies, it is absolutely stacked and it helps the story. Like uh, the story in Skull Island with Samuel L. Jackson and um, I forget his name, but uh, the, the guy who plays Loki, that actor, he's in, he's, or Tom Hiddleston, that's his name. And you have Brie, what's her name? Brie Larson, or that, she's insane in that movie as well. I mean, they just play so well. And so I just don't, I don't recognize a lot more of these actors. I, the black guy, I forget his name. I'm actually gonna look up his name. So. We have Millie Bobby Brown, and his name is Brian Tyree Henry. Yeah, he is an incredible actor. He was super funny in the last movie for me. Super, super funny. Played his role as like the nerd who like was like undercovering all the stories. He played that really well and I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I'll definitely be checking out. I think I'm gonna watch it on the channel here. I don't think I'm gonna go to the cinema for this one. It's definitely not that kind of hype. You know, if there was a Lord of the Rings 4, probably go check that out in the cinema. Sorry guys, no content here. I have to watch that. There is no way, I don't care how many views that video got. I'm going to cinema for that. All right, guys, that's my reaction to the trailers. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And also turn on post notifications to never miss an upload. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.